Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan. Hello po sa Tanang Bisaya diha. By the way, shout out sa akong family diha sa Cagayan de Oro City na number one fan din na ako. Always din nagatan ako sa akong YouTube videos pag na ako upload. Um, to Donna and Joseph, mga number one din na sila pinaka first din na sila matapakas sa akong video lagi na sa Joseph. Friends, Mama and Papa, hello diha sa my barangay Bonbon and to my sister Judy. Hello po sa akong mga pag-umangkon. Kaya yeah, Beatrice, Ate CJ, and AJ Boy, hello. Um, Ate Zeke and Ziana Bebels, hello. Kamusta? So anyways, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jade. I am from the Philippines and I live now in the Sunshine State, Florida. Nasa Florida po ako sa Tensacola, Florida. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, please like my videos, please watch my videos, and um, please share my videos as well. Pakiclick na rin po yung notification bell button or your bell button natin dyan para po ma-notify kayo on my next upload. So, for today's video po, um, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano po mag-book ng medical uh, interview sa St. Luke's uh, Medical Center Extension Clinic. Kasi marami pong nagtatanong sa akin sa Facebook, sa TikTok account ko kung paano po mag-book, ganito, ganyan, ano po yung process, ano na po yung mga kasunod na process. So, I'm making this video para naman po makatulong tayo. So, here's my um, Facebook account pala and my TikTok. Please follow me there as well. So, um, by the way, um, disclaimer, I am not affiliated nor working with any government agency or the immigration. I am not a professional or illegal expert. I am simply sharing my experiences or I am simply sharing based from my experiences po, I hope na makatulong sa iba natin dyan na Filipina or Filipino na nagpa-process po ng K-1 fiancé visa nila. Um, please check my free previous videos po. Meron na po akong video nung timeline po ng pag-process namin ng K-1 visa ng uh, fiancé ko dati ngayon po asawa ko na. So without further ado, let's book an appointment sa St. Luke's Medical Extension um, Clinic. Ito po pala yung website nila. SLEC, S -L -E -C .ph. Yan po yung official website ng St. Luke's po. So, hello guys! Kumusta po ang lahat? Ngayon po ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung paano po mag-book ng appointment sa St. Luke's Medical Center Extension Clinic for K-1 and K-2 fiancé visas. The first of all po, um, isearch nyo po yung slec.ph, ito po, slec.ph, shortcut po ng St. Luke's Medical or St. Luke's Extension Clinic. And then, ito po yung lalabas, may announcement po, January 16 of 2024, the most updated. You may now register online. Please be reminded that we do not accept online credit card payments. Cash and Philippine currency and credit card, visa, and MasterCard payments are accepted at the clinic's cashier. And then, i-close lang po natin ito. And then, here are the list po. Ito po yung makikita niyo. Welcome to SLEC. Ayan, basahin niyo po ito. If you want to read more, ayan. Ito po. And then, dito po sa baba, meron pong mga important announcement. I-check niyo po yan. Drag down lang po tayo, either here or mag-scroll down kayo sa um, mga mouse po ninyo. So, ito po, last, um, this February 9 of 2024, uh, mag-close daw po yung St. Luke's Extension Clinic. Please be informed that St. Luke's Medical Extension Clinic in Ermita, Manila and BGC Taguig will be closed on February 9, 2024, Friday, special non-working holiday po. So, please be reminded. May announcement din po dito. So, for K-1 visa, dito po tayo, USA visa applications. Ito po yung mga lalabas. Required documents. Meron na po dyan. Required medical examinations. Kung ano po yung gagawin. Medical fees. Working flow chart. Online registration. So, click po natin itong online registration. Now, ito po, again, there is an announcement about financial medical examination needs to have any health case prior to registering online for their medical examination. Please submit the health case inquiry first before setting your medical appointment. So, here. If it's a first-time examination, there's no need to do health case inquiry, please. Or proceed directly to registration. Close. Nandito natin dito. And then, type lang po natin yung 
email address po natin and then click to prove that you are not a robot, click and read the reminder here and then submit. And then lalabas po yung verification. And then ito na po yung lalabas. Now, you guys online registration, applicants for repeat, medical examination, and info. And then here are the instructions. This online registration form aims to reduce registration time by having most of the applicants' information ready upon arrival at the registration area. Pre-registered applicants should only need to have their biometric captured upon arrival at the reception area. Ito po yung instructions. Basahin po ninyo yung instructions, yung old instructions. Complete all field. Ilalagay po natin dito. Uh, date of birth. Let's say... Uh, and let's for example, and then preferred date of medical examination. Now make sure to understand this, yung red po is not available, and then the green one is available. So let's check this one. Ito po, pili po kayo ng date. These are the dates available, yung nasa green po. Ayan, yung nasa green are the available dates that they have. Ayan. Let's say 29. And then preferred time of medical examination. Pili po kayo ng oras dito. They have from 7 a.m. down to 2 p.m. po. So, yun. Let's just say select. Have you received your COVID-19 vaccine? Yes. Ito po yung lalabas. Um, hahanapan po kayo nito. If no naman, ito po yung lalabas po. And since I have my vaccination, lagay po natin dito. I had Moderna. And let's say, I had it. First vaccine was, let's say, 2021. And then second vaccine was 2024. 2022, and then if you have a vaccine booster, hanapin po ninyo kung ano po. If you have the booster, I had the Pfizer, hanapin po ninyo. And then the date that you had it, let's say, for example, yung year was 2023. Ayan. So if you don't have this naman, you can just leave it. And then NBC case number, kailangan po ninyo yan. Ilagay niyo po yung NBC case number ninyo dito. And then confirm NBC case number. Ulitin lang po natin. And then visa preference category kung ano kung visa kayo. And then ours is K1 visa. It's right here. For K2, iba naman po siya. Dalawa po kayo na ibang medical. Interview day. Interview source, U.S. Embassy. Then applicant's name. Ilapan nyo lang po yan lahat. Ito po. And then after that, make sure na tama po yung mga nilalagay ninyong spelling, ng mga names ninyo. And then for con contact information for applicants currently living in the in the Philippines. Ayan. And then for applicants currently living outside the Philippines naman po, if you are outside the Philippines. And then scroll down. Ito po, additional. And passport number, issue date, issued by country, expiration date. And then additional questions, have you been issued a U.S. tourist visa? Yes or no? Ayan po yung lalabas. Issuance date and expiration, if wala naman po, no lang. Previous medical examination at St. Luke's, if you had, please, that's optional. Pag wala naman po, just leave it, um, leave it blank. Date of previous chest x-ray, if you had a previous x-ray prior to this, uh, lagay niyo po yung kung kailan niyo last na nagpa-x-ray kayo or chest x-ray. If wala naman po, just leave it blank. For petitioner's information, ito po yung um, ilalagay ninyo. Name ni petitioner. Is the petitioner still alive? Yes or no? Ayan po. Check ninyo kay petitioner. Fiance. And then address ni petitioner sa US. Here, address. Enter po yung street address, city, state, and postal code nila. Contact number and email address ni fiance po ninyo. Intended port of entry. Kung saan po kayo um, lalapag. Now, just read the information registration process of my medical examining. I certify that I understand the purpose of the online registration. And I understand to prove that you are not a robot. Click nyo lang po ito check. And then, click nyo po yung preview. And then, you click. If tama naman po lahat, you click register. And then, lalabas na po yung confirmation page po ninyo. So, ito po yung matatanggap ninyong um, email after clicking regist uh, register. Makakatanggap kayo ng confirmation e uh, email sa Gmail po ninyo or sa Yahoo Mail ninyo kung ano po yung ginamit ninyong pag-register sa St. Luke's. Ito po, ipiprint ninyo kasi hahanapin ito ni, uh, ni St. Luke's. Ito po yung importante. Dapat makita po nila yung barcode, tsaka itong number po. And then, important reminders. Ito po yung mga dadalhin po ninyo sa St. Luke's. Meron po instructions dyan. It should be, oh, uh, prepare the following documents inside a short brown envelope in exact order. And then, if you have K2, ito naman po yung mga kakailanganin ninyo. And then always remember each person who will undergo a visa medical examination must have one envelope that contains his or her documents. Please do not staple the documents. Ito, makikita ninyo yung address po ng St. Luke's. Ito po yung address dito. 
And then yung mode of payment po ninyo, if you're paying through cash sa clinic, security bank, ito po yung instructions. If you pay naman po using credit card, visa and MasterCard only, ito po yung instructions. And then, if, if you're paying through the bank po, ito po yung dadalhin ninyo. Ito po ipiprint ninyo and dadalhin ninyo sa bank. Ito po yung buong pay. Ito, ito na po yung uh, may PDF file po kung paano po um, dapat yung pagbayad, ang nakalagay biller name, code, payment amount if you pay through the bank and ito po, dapat po ganito siya and then ito yung dadalhin ninyo sa St. Luke's so na kailangan ninyong i-print out ito po yung mga gagawin ninyo sa St. Luke's ayan, sa entrance, checking of documents and then picture taking, data encoding and fingerprint scanning po dyan sa reception area nila and then issuance na po ng um, receipt if you paid uh, through the bank and if you pay through the cashier po doon sa anong ito po, nandyan po nakalagay kung anong floor, ano yung mga gagawin ninyo ito po siya, ayan Good luck po sa lahat ng uh, magmi-medical. Relax lang po kayo. Huwag po kayong kabahan. Um, just make sure po na you, ha you have rested. Dapat po naka-rest kayo. Enough yung rest ninyo. Drink lots of water. Drink vitamins. And eat healthy po lagi. Kaya ayan. See you in my next video. Thank you po sa lahat ng nanonood. I hope na makatulong ako sa inyo. These are based from my experience po. When I did my medical back in 2023. It's actually one year ago na po. So uh, again, disclaimer. I am not working or affiliated with any immigration agency or working with the government, I am not a professional or a legal expert. I am simply sharing my experiences po um, when I applied K-1 visa. I hope this helps other people as well or a guide for them or they have an idea on how to do so. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope to see you on my next video. Please like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please share our video para naman po makatulong tayo sa iba. And then, you can go to St. Luke's Medical Extension Clinic um, website po nila. Again, slec.ph for more information. Mababasa niyo po lahat doon. Thank you so much and see you on my next vlog.